guys, this is Ultra Steel here, and today we have a new guest. What's up, guys? Avid Gamer Alex here. And he's going to be joining us on this other part of the Let's Play. Thank you for coming on board, Alex. Anytime, man. Feels good to be back guest commentating. It's been quite a while. Yep. All right, now we're in Castle Town, or well, yeah, Castle, Castle Market, and we want to lower that dog that's from the back, because uh, if we take... If we take him or her, actually it's him. His name's Richard. Uh, if we take him in the back alley and we go meet this woman, uh, apparently this is her lost dog that she's been looking for. Richard, this is my little Richard. Thank you, thank you. I'll give this to you as a reward. We got a piece of heart and we have another heart container. <clears throat> now, isn't that the same woman who during the day is always bragging about her dog or something? Yeah, looks like karma got her. <laughs> it sure did. Uh, Alright, so now we got the piece of heart. We're also going to uh, do this uh, Bongshu minigame, which a lot of people don't like for obvious reasons. I'm one of those persons. Yep. Uh, what? Uh oh, a customer. <laughs> I like how she makes it seem like a bad thing. <laughs> Welcome to our Cutting Edge Amusement Center, the Bongshu Bowling Alley. Do you want to know what you can win? Well, it's a secret. I can't tell you until you pay to pay, or play, pay to play. <laughs> it's 30 rupees per game. Do you want to play? Yes. All right, so basically for this mini game, you just want to aim for the hole in the center and let the Bongshu go. You get 10 tries. Ready, let's bowl, and the rewards are random, so uh, I'm gonna try and skip the parts to work. You know, you get the right, the right rewards. And watch out for those uh, things on the floor that, you know, the spike things, because they will blow up your bomb and they'll pretty much eliminate your bomb. And you have to have, like, good angles, too. Don't you hate this minigame sometimes, dude? Uh, Alex? Oh, I sure do, man. Sometimes it takes me multiple tries and I have to go grind for rupees. Yeah. It's just a big hassle. I know. I'm probably going to cut out some parts because this minigame can actually be pretty hard. Especially with the control stick, sometimes it's not accurate. Shoot! Dark Cuckoo. Now, I forget. What, what all, what all like, different items you can win from this game right here? Let's see. There's the bomb, there's the bomb bag. And then there's a piece of heart. And then there's Chusel's other bomb shoes as well. Um, and there's normal bombs. Uh, not the best place to get bomb shoes. You, you, you could probably just get it from the from that alley guy back there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But uh, yeah, this mini game can be pretty annoying because you have to have a good angle, and it's just tedious. Oh my god! Hit detection is awful. So hopefully you guys enjoy me failing. Stupid cuckoo. Yeah, I'm probably not going to get this in the first try. So I'm going to cut out some of these parts. Practice makes perfect, bro. Yep. Okay, I got one. Just one more. Just one more. And then we got this. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can do this. No! No! Ah! A giant cuckoo got away. No! Do this. Come on, turn the other way, turn the other way. Please, please, please. Yes! We did it. Winner. And we got our own bomb shoe bag. Sweet. You got the bomb, uh, the biggest bomb bag. Now you can carry up to 40 bombs. Do you want to play again? Heck yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. Here is what you can win. Uh, 50 rupees. Uh, I'm probably just gonna skip this part. At least you got the bomb bag on your first try, though. True. All right, we got the piece of heart. This is what we want. So let's hope we can get it. Okay. Now. I noticed when you're trying to get the items you want, the the second hole is always, like, on the side. See? It's always on the side, like, in the worst spot. <laughs> when it's, like, on the top, it's easy. But, like, if it's on the side, dude, it's, like, it's almost impossible. Come on! We can do this, I think. Thank you. Let's see if we can do the third phase, hopefully. I'll 
once the chickens don't let us. Which I hope they do. Please move. Please move. No! Ah. Okay, move, please. Now. Okay, nope, nope. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Please move. Yes! Thank you. We got it. Alright. Winner. Nice. Thanks, dude. You got them both on your first try. Yeah. Thankfully, the game is being nice to me. Sometimes this minigame can really, like, get you mad. Alright, so now we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and... Um, get out of here. Let's see. Which minigame, uh, do you like the most in this game, Alex? The minigame I like the most? Probably, probably the archery one. Oh, yeah. With, with the bow later on in the game. So, uh, let's see. Let's just grind for money right here, real quick. Uh, we're just gonna go in here one time. Just getting all of the money. Let's see. I freaking love the, like, the little theme in here. I know, the house theme. Yeah, the house theme. Very, I love it. I know, it's really relaxing. It was just cool. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to, uh, find the third special stone, which I believe is in the water area. So we're gonna go down here in Zora's River. stronger and just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule War Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. Their door will not open for anybody except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. <laughs> uh, please tell them I'm not alone. Like, do you like that owl, Alex? Well, if, if it's a choice between the owl or Navi, I'll have to go with Navi over the owl. I know, at least Navi doesn't like hog up your time, right? Well, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, to some extent. Anyways, on this uh, pathway to Zora's River, we'll meet this guy called uh, the Bean Seller. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. How about 10 rupees for one? Sure. We're gonna get we're gonna get a few of these because these are very useful. You got a magic bean, find a suitable spot for a garden or for a plant. You wanna plant as much of these as possible because they really help you get some useful items and they help you get to places that you wanna be. And as you notice, the more you buy, the more expensive they get, so if you really have a lot of money, you might want to spend it on this. I'd say it's worth it. And this guy will make a fortune off of you. Yep. Probably like over 300 rupees in profit. I think. I think. Let's see. So let's go ahead and put the... That should be right there. And you may notice it's useless now, but just wait until later. Literally. Anyways. <laughs> We might get this cuckoo over here. No way, big octo. And you see that piece of fire over there? Well, we're gonna try and uh, get to it somehow. Well, I think it's pretty obvious, but... It's just 
find it so funny that Cuckoos have the ability to help you fly somewhere. Alright, so hopefully he won't drown. Alright, we got a piece of heart. Let's go down here. Anyways, uh, we're gonna probably call it off for this part. Uh, this is Ultra Steel here, and... This is Ultra Steel here, and... Happy the Gamer Alex. And we will see you guys in the next part of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We'll continue adventuring upwards Zora's River. Alright, see ya and goodnight.